Embryol is used to honor in combination with an immunosuppressant such as methotrexate to treat certain types of arthritis such as rheumatoid, psoriatic, juvenile dopaphic and ankylosing spondylitis. Some brands of this medication are also used to treat a skin condition called psoriasis. These conditions are caused by an overactive immune system, autoimmune disease. The immune system attacks the body's own healthy cells, causing inflammation in the joints and skin. Embryol controls your body's defensive response by blocking the action of a certain natural substance that is used by the immune system. Treatment decreases redness, itching, and scaly patches in psoriasis as well as the pain, swelling, and stiffness of joints and arthritis. This medication can stop the progression of disease and joint damage, resulting in improved daily functioning and quality of life. This medication treats but does not cure autoimmune diseases. Symptoms usually return within one month of stopping the medication. What is Embryol used for? Embryol is approved to treat the following conditions. Rheumatoid arthritis. Plaque psoriasis in adults and children who are at least 4 years old. Psoriatic arthritis. Ankylosing spondylitis. Polyarticular juvenile diopathic arthritis in children who are at least 2 years old. It is sometimes used in combination with methotrexate when used to treat rheumatoid arthritis and psoriatic arthritis. How to use? Embryol is administered by a subcutaneous injection. This means it is given just under the skin, using a very fine needle. It is usually administered once or twice a week, depending on the condition being treated. For example, adult rheumatoid arthritis and colossine spondylitis and psoriatic arthritis, 50 mg once weekly. Psoriasis, 50 mg twice weekly for 3 months, then once weekly thereafter. Embryol may be injected into the top of your thigh, your stomach, excluding your belly button area or your upper arm, if somebody else is administering it. Embryol may be given by a doctor or nurse, or you can be taught how to self-administer it. Contraindications Hypersensitivity to the active substance or tony of the excipients. Sepsis or risk of sepsis. Treatment with Embryol should not be initiated in patients with active infections, including chronic or localized infections. Precautions Patients treated with Embryol are at increased risk for developing serious infections involving various organ systems and sites that may lead to hospitalization or death. Before using Embryol, tell a doctor or pharmacist if you are allergic to it, or to a latex or natural dry rubber, or if you have any other allergies. This product may contain inactive ingredients, which can cause allergic reactions or other problems. Talk to a pharmacist for more details. Before using this medication, tell a doctor or pharmacist your medical history, especially of active or recurrent infections such as hepatitis B, HIV, tuberculosis, blood disorders such as leukemia, anemia, weakened bone marrow, history of cancer such as lymphoma, diabetes, heart failure, seizures, nervous system problems such as multiple sclerosis, a certain liver problems, alcoholic hepatitis, blood vessel disorders such as vasculitis. What is the possible side effects of Embryol? Embryol may cause serious side effects including fever, chills, flu symptoms, pale skin, easy bruising or bleeding, night sweats, weight loss, stomach pain or swelling, swelling glands, neck, armpits or groin, calf, loss of appetite, tiredness, skin redness or new scaly patches, raised bumps filled with pus, dizziness, numbness or tingling, vision problems, weakness in arms or legs, shortness of breath, swelling in your lower legs, Joint pain or swelling, chest discomfort, skin rash on your cheeks or arms that worsen in sunlight, right-sided upper stomach pain, vomiting and yellowing of your skin or eyes, jaundice.